Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Hope you're having a good week so far. We have got some craziness going on this weekend. We've got a silver artifact cheaper transfer event, and then we have got a 2x event for every single shard coming up this weekend, which I think is really interesting. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the Nishak Fusion wrapping up, and we'll talk about everything going on in Rage Shadow Legends as we head into the weekend. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first thing I want to do is talk about this post from Polarium on the back end from the content creator program for information to get out to you uh, you all uh, out there in the community. And it says, for a limited time, uh, they're going to be doing, basically they're going to be doing a swap artifacts and accessories event where they are going to be reducing the amount of silver it takes by 100%. So uh, let's we'll say it costs 100k to remove a piece from a champion, now it will cost 50k. And that is going to be just over the weekend from Friday coming up here in a couple days until Monday. Now, I wish they would do this on a little bit more of a rotation, you know, like, like, like Sundays or something, like one day a week or just something something people could actually predict. Because uh, when it comes out of nowhere, it's like, okay, cool. Uh, you know, if, if I happen to be needing that at that point, that'll be great. But I, I do wish they would do this more often and a little bit more on a schedule so that people uh, could be rewarded for like planning around uh, moving, move, moving gear around and stuff like that. But then this is the crazy part. So on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday we are getting three different pseudo 2x's I may have said in the intro that it's 2x events which isn't technically true because if we read this carefully we can see doubling your chances of receiving legendary champions so it's not really a 2x because it's not just a flat out uh, double chance for epics and legendaries like it usually is. It says doubling your chance of receiving legendary champions it is very specific and they're doing all three shards they're doing the uh the, the the sacred shards on friday then they're doing the ancient shard they're also going in a weird order they don't usually go in that order they're doing the ancient shards on uh sunday and then they're doing the void shards on monday and then tuesday and wednesday is going to be a cvc now since we just had two x voids last weekend a few days ago they usually do a rotation of 2x and then some sort of 10x or guarantee and then 2x and then some sort of 10x and guarantee. So they are completely throwing that out the window and they're doing a 2x for voids and then literally a, a week later they have another basically 2x for voids. So this is getting wild. Uh, who knows what to expect with these summoning events anymore because this really changes the game. Plarium has... has stuck to a very consistent and predictable summoning event schedule uh, based on the, the the events they do on the weekends. And they're throwing that out the window and they're doing 2x voids two weeks in a row. Uh, well, basically, for legendaries anyway. And then they're trying this event right here. I bet you... I bet you what they're trying to do is going into 2023, they're trying to figure out if, uh, if, if, it's, if, if it's not a 2x. They're trying to figure out if people will actually pull during just a bonus legendary event outside of the bonus chance for the epics where it's just a straight up 2x. They're probably trying to see how this event goes, but we just have the Nishok Fusion. And then they, they they squeeze this in here, and then we have CVC literally right when it ends. The, these events end on Monday, and then boom, we go into CVC. So um, I think they're trying to make sure they keep like a, an event permanently active, like every damn near every day, a reason to pull shards. I think it's going to be a little bit too often. I think uh, that they're kind of uh, they're kind of like overplaying their hand a little bit. Uh, I think they got to slow down a little bit on the events, but we'll see. We'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how many people pull shards. I'll try to do some polling on the channel. And we'll try to keep you in the loop of how people feel. Uh, but given how crazy the events have been uh, recently. I, I, like me personally, I'm probably not going to pull shards during this. Uh, I'm probably going to hold off until they do a guaranteed summon event or it, uh, until they um, like the next fusion and I need to pull during a champ chase or a summon rush to try and complete the fusion. Um, and, and I don't know who the target audience for this is because 
uh, if you're an early game player, uh, you, you want to pull during a 2x so that you can acquire all of those epics that you need for faction wars and, and all the special teams like Allure and Mandator and Demetha and, and Seer and and like you need to round out your roster uh, for the secret rooms and stuff like that. So uh, like and if you're an end game player, you typically want to hold off for a, a certain 10x for a godly champion or a guaranteed summon event or for pulling during CVC uh, or pulling during a fusion. So I don't even know who the who the market is for this event. Uh, but if I'm missing something, and if you uh, if you love this and, and you're excited to pull, let me know down in the comments because I would love to have that perspective. Because I feel like uh, this is going to be a recommended skip for most of you out there, in my opinion. But yeah, just uh, just to wrap up on the summoning events happening this weekend, they are throwing us a curveball. And on Friday, we are going to be getting Sacreds. Then on Saturday, we are going to be getting Ancients. And then on Sunday, we are going to be getting Voids. So prepare accordingly. Uh, if you would like to participate in the double your chances for receiving a Legendary Champion, just keep in mind that it is not also Epics. Although uh, it is a little bit weird that they do uh, say Epic for one of them I'm noticing here as I'm kind of doing the video. Uh, so says, uh, you know, when they do ancient, it does do epics, uh, but it does not do epics on uh, voids, which is just, it's it's all so weird. Like, like obviously for sacreds, they wouldn't need to, uh, but doubling your chances for receiving legendary champions from voids. So it's only ancients. That are going to be the, the the epic. So for the ancients, it does look like. Sorry, I, I I think I misspoke a little bit earlier. It looks like it is a kind of standard two x. It double your chances of legendary and epic. So the, the the ancients one is kind of a two x, but the void one this uh this threw me off because it's not. It doesn't say double your chances of receiving legendary champions. Yeah, there there is no epics or anything like that. So okay, the ancients one. Uh, I need to amend my opinion here. Ancients one may make sense for some of those early game accounts because it is basically just a 2x. So if you're early game, you can't really go wrong pulling 2x ancients. Just keep in mind, you're right uh, in between probably two fusions and also right before CVC. But yeah, it's just kind of weird. Let me know what you think down below uh, with them uh, really going crazy on another weekend of all of the shards. Also, the Nishak Fusion uh, has concluded for me. I was able to finish that yesterday on stream. And uh, for those of you that are getting after the Nishak Fusion, you're probably going to be finishing it soon, hopefully. Uh, I, I was grinding his own XP. Uh, so I built him as like a, like a five-star level one, gave him some gear, and then I uh, gave him a couple brews. And he was good enough to grind up in 12-3 Brutal his own XP. It was kind of slow, but, uh, but it, it's efficient this way if you're just looking to level up literally one champion to have them farm their own. XP. So I just put him solo in a 12-3 Brutal and he was able to do that just fine. But uh, yeah, what you see is what you get as far as the fusion right now. So uh, if, if you are still kind of waiting to finish it, if you were one of those going for it, you're going to need to focus on the champion training, which ends today and make sure that you scoop up the rare over on the right. And then the, the last thing ending for the fusion is going to be the artifact enhancement event right here. And uh, also the dungeon diver is going to be ending. So right now this is the last stuff of the Nishak fusion in game. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be getting uh over to work on the build that i want to go for for nishak i i want to do like a hybrid build like a high attack uh regeneration set build i want him to be i, I want to build him in a way where he can solo dragon 25 and then also uh be a bomb blow up team uh it, it's gonna be hard to get those two builds in one because they're two different goals like the solo dragon build you want to build him tanky uh just to kind of be able to survive and get through it and use the waves to blow everything up and all that the poison um, but then in the uh, bomb will build, it's a glass cannon. You want to get him to like 6,000, 7,000 attack and make sure you can uh, just rush down bomb will before things kind of snowball out of control. So uh, it's two different mindsets, two different builds. I'm going to try to figure out a way uh, to do both of them at once. But uh, maybe we'll, we'll hold off a couple days uh, here until CBC is going to launch or something. But uh, I am excited to, uh, to get my Nishak build and I do at least have uh, a starter build going here. And we'll see if I'm able to... Uh, uh, to get all that done and I'll keep you in the loop here uh, on what my kind of like ultimate knee shock build ends up being for my account for sure. We can pop into the shop and see if there's anything worth going over here. Um, the countdown pack, we plug this in. It's okay. It's not amazing. It graded out as like a 1.35 or so. Uh, this one is decent for high spenders, but it's not like amazing value for the people that are looking for the best offers. Uh, the personal power pack, this is... I mean, 
for four. No, okay. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to be a recommend. I can already tell. Is there anything interesting? Uh, so the mini mix pack, these 100% extra mini mix packs are really good. So if you are a spender in raid, these are typically uh, some of the better offers you're going to see in game. And then the relentless set is going to be a no for sure. So, okay, it's time for me to head on over uh, and get ready to hang out on stream. I've been doing uh, daily YouTube live streams and uh, trying out what it's like to stream on YouTube lately. And I'm having fun with it, so I've been doing it for like two or three hours a day. Uh, just flipping on the, uh, the the live stream here on YouTube and, uh, and going live and hanging out with, with some of you that like to show up and, and talk about everything going on in Raid currently. So I'll be doing that uh, here pretty soon. And uh, yeah, good luck if you're going to be pulling during the shard craziness where it's kind of like... A 2x for ancients but it's just bonus legendaries for void and then it's kind of like a, like the double chance for for the legendaries and the sacreds kind of interesting events going on here and let, let me know how you feel down below about the events being super often and more boosts even on a weekend where we didn't think we're getting a 2x and all of that because i think it is definitely a shift in the mindset of raid and it makes me curious as to if we're gonna have to edit our summoning event predictor calendar for 2023 uh if they're like setting a new bar at the end of the year here they're gonna uh, we're gonna have to adjust all of the weeks and what we think is coming and all that so uh could be a potential shift in the mindset of the shard events in raid so anyway remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily raid shadow legends content and i'll see you soon in the next video thanks for watching peace